Welcome to America's great collection of hot rods, motorcycles, and trucks. Most people call it the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels, and it happens right here in Chicago. Hi everybody, I'm Doc Riley. It's my pleasure to be the host of this big weekend event where we've got everything from vintage race cars to the Riddler winner at the Detroit Autorama that's on display and pretty much everything in between. One of the great things about this event here in Chicago is it really pays tribute to Chicago's car culture. A lot of the different car clubs that make up that culture have selected their best vehicles and put them on display here at the Donald Stevenson Convention Center. Of course, this event also has touring folks that are here that travel almost every single weekend during the winter months to compete on the Summit Racing Equipment Show Car Series. Competitors from Quebec, Canada and Ontario, all the way down into Tennessee and Florida, and all the way out west to Florida, and all the way east to New Jersey. They've all come to Chicago to put their car on display and have it in competition to see if they can be one of the best in the International Show Car Association. Of course, the World of Wheels also has its share of celebrities, and this weekend we've welcomed everyone from AJ Styles of the WWE to Tony Stewart, NASCAR legend, who's still racing right now, even though he's not in a cup car, he spends a lot of time in a dirt car. And Dave Kindig, one of those up and coming builders who has an incredible great TV show. His handiwork is also on display here, but he had an opportunity to meet and greet some fans. The World of Wheels is not a new car show and it's not an old car show. It's a show for everyone to come and enjoy the American car culture. And there's a lot of different spots to that car culture, a lot of different spokes, you might say. Motorcycles, street rods, street machines, muscle cars, and traditional rods. You know what? Let's take a look at some of the incredible vehicles on display here at the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels. I'm Max Dumas. I'm 18 years old, and this is my 23 C cab that my dad and I have been building for three years at Platinum Custom Cars. It has a 350 small block Chevy, a turbo 350 trans. I built the frame myself. This is a one-off custom body from Spirit Engineering. That's a fake fuel injection system from New Zealand that I had built. The whole engine is smoothed out. The wheels are one-off from Intro. The, I built it over three years with my dad and there's a lot of custom one-off machine parts on this. I've been going to college for two years and I'm not even graduated out of high school yet, so I've been using my skills that I've gained from high school, from the college in this. The paint is all done in house. The only thing we haven't done in house is the seat. There's lots of little quirks and features on this that I really like to show off. I picked this car because my dad was building one when he was 18 and he never got to finish it and he said, you know what, you should build one. So that's why I built this car. It's only about 300 horsepower but weighing about 2100 pounds soaking wet, it, it's just enough. Now, do you let anyone else drive the car? Well, I'll let my parents drive it. There you go. There you go. What about, uh, tell me about trophies, have you won any awards? This is the first show it's been at. Um, the car has been judged, I'll, I'll know by the end of the day what I did, but uh, I, I think it'll do pretty well. These are my parents, my dad's been building hot rods and custom cars for over 40 years and he's the one who's inspired me to do this. And uh, do you uh, let them drive it? Yeah, of course. It's a custom license plate that I mount, mounted in the door. And the inside is classic 70s van stuff where it's all shag carpet. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That is nice. What are the si size of these tires back there? These are 22 by 12 inch rims and they're continental tires. Wow, wow. So was this the first car that you learned to drive in? Yeah. <laughs> cool. 
So this is more of those uh, little custom machine parts that I learned how to do in, in school. The shifter, this is kind of cool, is under the seat because I had no really good place to put it since there's only the one door on this side. Right. So crawling through, didn't want to trip over the shifter. I've made the brake pedal and the gas pedal is, is a billet specialties piece. Nice, nice. Wow. How's the car to drive? It's great to drive it. It's one of the best suspension setups you can get for a Roadster. The exhaust or headers that we, we found online, they're super nice and I had to make a bracket on the bottom just for these step plates. Well, the bracket was for the side pipes and the step plates just covers the bracket. The right. bracket matches everything. There's kind of a theme of machining with the headlight mounts, the brake pedal, and the bracket for the side steps. These headlights, they have an integrated blinker and the, I hid the wires with um, stainless tubing. These are Headwinds headlights. They're motorcycle parts, but they just look cool. And how many hours do you have yourself into this vehicle? Oh, probably 6,800 hours. Wow, wow. That is so nice. That is so nice. And how many people have you had total in the vehicle at one time? Three. <laughs> Three. I had my buddy, uh, you know, fold them up, put them in the back. There you go. Are those your buddies over there? Yep. There you go. Cool. This truck I finished when I was 14 years old. It was my first resto mod. And this truck, I had to build in 90 days to, so I can drive to school. <laughs> Platinum Custom Cars is based in a secret Midwest location right outside Mantino, Illinois. You can find us on Facebook, Platinum Custom Cars, or call us 708-258-9572. I'm Max Dumas, and this is my 23C cab. Thanks for watching. I hope you like looking at my 23C cab. Like and subscribe. <laughs>